Right, I'm Phil. I'm Ziba. And welcome to another Whiskey Mystery. Except we kind of got it wrong last week because because we, we double revealed and we only poured one new one. So pick a new one. So we pick three bottles out of the hundred you can see behind us and we blind taste. Well. Mm. The other thing that happened was we emptied two bottles. And because we have more whiskey bottles waiting to go in, what goes into the blind tasting is decided by whiskey roulette, where all the bottles that are not there yet are listed on this little spreadsheet pie chart. And uh, we spin the wheel to find out what's going to happen. Right, you're going to spin? What's it going to be? Oh, I thought it was going to be uh, that big one. Right. Let's try St. George's California Japanese whiskey. So George Baller is going into one bottle. Second spin. It's going to be... Oh, it's a small one. The small one oh. means it's quite a good one. Tarani 15. Oh, two very interesting and contrasting ones. So, uh, Glendronic 15. This is the famous one with the uh, Billy Walker signature on the back. So this is the older one. We picked it up as a dusty bottle. And I found something which I paid 120 for. Overpaid? You tell me. Okay, now we've got to do some homework on this because we haven't even got our notes yet. We're going to spend a little bit of time with these and we'll come back. Hmm, that was quite an intense <laughs> bit of homework we had to do there. So we do now have our three bottles. Yeah, go ahead and pour the glasses. We have the new one, honey roasted charcoal, uh, nutty orange sun, but the original Woody Orangeson. Although we realized if that one's Nutty orange Orangeson, this one could be Sherry Orangeson. Orangeson. Can't say it now. So we're going to start with uh, Nutty Orangeson. And because there is peat in this one, actually let's put the, um, let's put the coins on this for now. At least to keep the, the peat in. Actually, I meant that one. Nutty Orangeson, here we go. A little bit of sulfur. But not oil, nandi. Now it is quite faint. These are quite big. Oh yeah. This is quite faint. It's a little faint and light. It makes me feel like it's a little distant, like I'm looking down the road a little bit to try and pick up the notes. Uh, it's a, uh, yeah, it's a bit orange oil and heather herbs. A little bit of sulfur note in there as well. So maybe it's a bit of sherry sulfur going on. Oh, is it oily as you got across? This smells more oily than that does. Mm. Oh, I'm scared it's a burnt oil and orange. Yeah. Peppered orange oil, toffee. Actually, quite a bit of toffee. But of course, it's soft. Right. Actually, it's stronger than I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. Coming back to it this time. About, about, the price, about that, I suppose. Now, the sulfur note is coming up in here now. And the, f the finish is a little weak. Mm. Sort of fading, a little bit of faint spice. A little bit oaky tan. I, it was a bit of dry, I suppose. Mmm. Much softer second time round. Have one more sip. It's interesting. The second sip is much softer. Um, it's more of the diluted honey, less of the pepper the second time. Caramel. It's definitely nicer, softer. Look, it's... Put it back on now. I, I like it. It's very well balanced, nicely integrated, a nice range of flavours, but 
nicey, nicey, nice. It's not <laughs> like... <laughs> it's not uh, unusual. It's a no surprise. But it's good. I thought it's just our word. Approved. Approved. <laughs> All right. Woody Aronson, which is our first Aronson. Uh, do you want empty or full? I'm um, empty. Which one do you want? Okay. I get full, I guess. Oh, I smell of a uh, mushy food. This, <laughs> these are quite similar. I feel like this one I'm looking off in the distance and this one has come rushing up <laughs> going, what do you want? <laughs> because it's all of these flavors, but all up, yeah, isn't but, it? But in America, I'm so surprised you get a mushiness of the ivory. Mm. It's got to be stronger ABV because all of those flavors are much more concentrated. I've kind of gone straight to taste, but let's quickly run over the the nose. I'm definitely getting a lot more of the sulfury matchsticks going on in here. And getting a, a coconut oil, maybe a touch of vinegar. Touch of vinegar, I think it's the sherry thing is bringing up the vinegar. Yeah, a little oily vinegar, tiny bit of vinegar in there. And a touch of mint. Touch of mint. Um, okay, taste. Let me go back to taste. Mm. It's thicker, more, it's more viscous, it's denser. It's carrying more flavor in there. <clears throat> Honey roasted charcoal. Right. Pow! Smoke! <laughs> Peat smoke and Peat. sherry. Now, I, I kind of threw out, it's like roasted mushrooms and peanuts. A little bit of the burnt plaster scene as well. And um, a noni seaweed. Seaweed. Non yeah, but, but you said marshmallows as well. It's like there's a sweet thing. I said, what, seaweed wrapped marshmallows? That's a better name, actually. Sherry plus peat together. Sh Sherry and peat. <laughs> that sounds like two people going on a date. And even a sauce of peanut. Oh, viscous, sweet, dense. There's quite a bit of power in that, isn't there? Wow, it's salty, <laughs> ganem and peanut. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> but I so good. Okay. Now. Oh, we're the same. Mm. These are all good. I, I, I feel bad, but I forgot to actually more balance than that one. I think... <laughs> but it's too soft. These two are both shouting so loud that this one can't really be yeah. heard. <laughs> this one's like, um, yeah, but, oh, excuse me. Mm. But it is a little bit soft for its own good. But I, I feel it is very good though. Okay. It's beautifully balanced. So, Nutty Orangeson is going to be revealed. That means that Woody Orangeson is living on for... This is about the fifth episode. Well done. Although, ooh, it's got stiff competition now. All right, would it's you, a though? It's very bad. I think it is good. I'm, I'm, I'm actually impressed with it. Bendronic 18. Would you prefer this or that? I prefer this. Oh. I think it's bit, uh, a bit too shocking. Okay. I think I would prefer it as well. So that means we're up here. Right. Time to start looking. So these are all the things it could possibly be in terms of our ABV. We are going to take our trophies and put it behind what we think is the winner and then we'll find out after. And then we do first place, I think a place, option. ABV, 
43. That's good. That is not 43. And this is not 43 either. It's uh, 40. Damn it. And I and give her this first piece. Uh, okay, let's just carry on. It's a 12 year. Oh no. Mm. That means I'm not right. Oh, oh, this, <laughs> this Gabby, Gabby, book. <laughs> what? What? Uh, which? What's your third choice, Deepa? No, 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 I mean, but dick. No. This is my third <laughs> choice. <laughs> 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 the price is 50. But you know, we have ranked this very highly. And it is a space side. And it is. Oh! Balvini. A duck. A fairy, but I will never, never, ever, ever expect because this is about as fairy earth as the flavor. Wow. I will never know that I will never have other flavor. We have just put Steve's, because we got this from our friend. Oh, yellow yeah, Steve. <laughs> okay, the new sound is really good in this, all right? <laughs> we have just put this I, I, above. I, I approved of. Above Glendronic 18. Let's go Glendronic again. Because everyone will be screaming at us. You can't put that ahead of Glendronic 18. Hmm. Oh, if I didn't have a stream. Yeah. I can understand if people are screaming. That's pretty deep and rich. But, you know, I quite like the balance. I, 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 see, I, see, I prefer it more. I don't like the overly sherry nature of it. I quite mm. like the balance of the bourbon and the sherry. Double wood because, let's see, the first cask presumably is a bourbon cask. Layers of vanilla spiciness, fine. And then the second cask further matured in European oak sherry casks. So a little, a little bit of spice would come from the European oak and um, obviously some sherry. That is very nice. Few bourbon. I was gonna say, do we bottle battle to see if it stays on the shelf? Is there anything that you would want to compare it to? Because... Fair enough. But this is one of the worst things we've tasted. <laughs> um, it's not bad for me anymore. Oh, it's not? Is it? Is it good? Has it redeemed itself? Yeah. Oh, it's not bad. It's not aggressive. It's not. And you're not getting a perfume. And I know that is pretty fat. Oh, that is a lot better than I remember mm, though. Yes. I think it's a mellow time. Okay, grab the McKenna. McKenna versus Few. I'm very surprised about few. I was so not into people, but actually better than yeah. I remember. All right. A bit of licorice oh, or... I, I prefer it more. Yeah. It's actually quite nice. Mm. Oh, I think I, I, it's better not to like either of them. I do take back some of the terrible things I've said about few. I'm pretty bad, I swear, we got it pretty good. Pretty good, but McKenna stays, few is off the shelf. Goodbye, few. Yeah, but, but, it's, but it's just good. Mmm. <laughs> and ask me, Scottish. 